Good morning. Uh, today I'm going to make a film, about, a technical film about installation, some electronic installation on uh, on my boat. Because when I need to do the installation and did all the research on YouTube, I didn't find much information. So I thought maybe it's worth it to make such a film. I installed a new um, navigation uh, chart plotter on my Bayliner. It is in uh, Garmin 722 Plus, 722 Plus. Um, it has a lot of cap capabilities in this specification, like uh, working as MFD, multifunctional display, um, connectivity to NMEA 2000, NEMIA 2000 net uh, network, also an Ethernet network. My older uh, navigation system was an old, uh, older system of Garmin, which is not being supported anymore. It has um, um, GNS10. It is a network extender, Ethernet network extender, which has been connected to um, um, some weather modular, which is in any way not working here in, uh, in, in Europe. I installed <coughs> because I, I like to to make use of all the multifunctionalities of the functionalities of the chart plotter. I start making the network uh, uh, connectivity on my boat. So I installed a working NMEA 2000 network um, with the backbone installation and all those stuff and power support. I'm not going to go in details. You can find somewhere else. And it is functioning because I connected my new radio Fusion RA70 70N, which is working uh, perfectly on my navigation. So next step, I thought all the old digital gauges on my boat is not functioning in a, in a proper way. They are not so accurate. So I thought when I was searching and talking to my uh, bo boating uh, neighbors, the, you, can, you can use some modular to get those information from your Mercruiser to your display because my Mercruiser is from 2005 it has a label of Smartcraft which is able to connect it to such networks this is what I was talking about the NIA 2000 network and the backbone with the yellow coat power supply refused on fuse box and connected to this network extender GNS10 Garmin uh, Ethernet. So the Garmin has two connections the NEMIA 2000 and the GNS10 via the GNS10 network extender, Ethernet network extender. The first thing that I purchased with this boat was the Vessel View model. This is um, a module which you can connect on the Smartcraft Mercruiser sending the information via Bluetooth to your iPhone. There is some dedicated application for Mercruiser. I have a very good information, indication for maintenance, speed, fuel consumption, RPM, uh, whatever you want from this uh, engine. Very good information. Uh, you can make a screenshot, send it to your uh, uh, maintenance guys, uh, there's some fault melding, you can use it also. Um, but again, because I have some, I invested in having an MFD, the Garmin chart, plot, chart plotter. I thought I want, I want to use full, the full functionalities of this chart plotter. That's why I want to upgrade it to my chart plotter. I thought the visual view would be also, co can be connected to the Nemean 2000, but doesn't work in this way. This is my uh, Mercruiser 350 Mark MPE. 
you have this small label it said smartcraft it means that it is connect the connectivity connectivity is possible when i was looking on the net i found some some information about the connectivity there is on the behind side back side of the motor there is some um, fuselage or some 10 pin uh, uh, sticker with uh, with a label on it can line uh, I have to look for it oh, like this one this label on it can line this one you need and there is a protective cap on it I remove it don't lose it you need it and that's why you can connect your modula the vessel view modular this one there's no other connectivity I thought you can connect it with the extra connectivity here on vessel view to be able to have some Nemo Ethernet but it doesn't work in that way by the way if you purchase the vessel view modular you need to purchase this yellow end cap to close it otherwise it's not going to work so today Today I'm going to um, try to use the uh, other Merc Cruiser Nemea 2000 Gateway, they call it like that. When I connect it instead of the vessel, vessel view modeler, it didn't work. You didn't get any information on the Nemea 2000. And I didn't find much information about why and what's, what's wrong and how, that does, how does it work. Last information was on online on some form from back from 2008 without any other information. And after searching and having some good advice from a, a web shop here in Holland, this one, Alos Marina, a very good guys, which uh, have a very good um, uh, um, communication. Uh, they give some help and they understand the problems and they search for me because I bought almost all the models here this is this is the one that I need to connect it to Nina 2000 obviously there is some wrong with the connectivities you need the special cables to be able to connect it and to make it functioning I got those cables I'm going to try it now so this is the model, the gateway model, NIMA 2000 gateway model. You have a NIMA 2000 and a canvas. I thought you can connect this one, 10 pins, instead of the vessel view model to the can line on the engine. Another side to the NIMA 2000, but it didn't work. I need some extension cables, obviously. So again, you need those connection cables the gateway model uh, to be connected it has to be the blue cable don't ask me why it's blue it's always blue with two ends resistors the yellow one the yellow one and you have a junction box yes you need you need also a junction box this is a junction box. It's a, a man connector, 10 pin connectors. The two ends from the blue of the blue cables are of, uh, uh, So we have the junction box. We have the blue cable again with two ends, both with yellow. One end with some extra cables, how you call it? The system link or something like that. The junction box will go one side to the Nemia 2000 gateway. Okay, all set. And the other side will go to the blue cable. The the end with the extra system link cables on the same side like this and the other end of the blue cable would go to the K 
can line the can line on the on the boat on the back back side of the boat so we will try it now so I mentioned I made uh, the connections I uh, I, th I uh, pulled the cables through all the holes and uh, the spaces to reach my main space where all the connections has been set up um, this is the setup this is what you need you have a Mer cruiser engine with a smart craft again this sign I have to have, you have to have on your on your engine for Mercury the back side of the engine there is the can line connection I connected to the blue line the, the blue cable with transistors termination resistor on the on both ends it goes through the engine space that I get it being tunneled for this till this space this is the setup you have the blue cable with the resistor at this end have the have the extra cable the system system line they call it both sides of the blue line are the feminine side you have this uh, junction box from Spartcraft with four ports so you have this junction box you have to connect to the junction box on one side on the other side I got this line this one came from the gateway from the um, from the Nemia 2000 gateway terminal at the other side then I have the extra uh, Bluetooth smart craft Bluetooth vessel view uh, model you have two ends the main ends has been connected to the other side of the blue cable next to the one with the model went to the gateway model of Nimia 2000 and the other side you have to use this weather cap to close it the other the other cable came with the vessel view has to be has been to be terminated by this uh, yellow termination is also a resistor one and this is my setup that I got that I did where I got both communication with my MFD Garmin 722 plus which works perfectly and I have extra the Bluetooth module to have more information on my Mercruiser Merc iOS uh, device uh, application where you can see here is, uh, is the Nemia 2000 network and I connect it directly to the modular to the model gateway Nemia 2000 model and uh, to get a connection to the Nemia 2000 Whew. it was a job so after um, uh, finding some spaces to put the wires in uh, make the connections testing and it works um, the installation of both the visual view this is the Bluetooth model and the NMEA 2000 gateway to bind to my FD both as are working it's very nice thing you get all the uh, digitalized analog data on your MFD this is the multifunctional display again my Garmin you can choose all the gauges you can install the maximum value the lowest value it's very good nice thing though I still missing the um, updatable multi data from the visual view because the visual view show you more data about the running hours of the engine um, uh, the maintenance scheme and all those things you get it on your on your Mer cruiser application so every of those two uh, uh, gateway modular have its own pro and com um, things so i think i will keep both of them